guys who stepped up or position group that maybe was a pleasant surprise or just anything that coming out of spring you feel better about? Well, I think, you know, I think um, in the secondary there's a lot of unknowns. And I think that uh, overall, both the safety and corner, some guys have stepped up, and, and really all that does is give them a chance to have, you know, put them in a position to have a chance. Uh, had they not had good springs, then you'd sit there and really be concerned. They had good springs. That's not the season. So we'll see how they, uh, you know, training camp is so much different. I mean, you're doing it every day. It's back-to-back -back practices. It's day after day after day. For springtime, you practice a day. Then you lift and do some meetings. And then you come out and practice another day. So, and I think by having a good spring, a lot of those guys have put themselves in a position to really have a great training camp and get ready for the season. And then on the defensive front, a lot of the young guys that we haven't seen, um, you know, they really have a lot of tape on them, got a lot of valuable reps. So now it gives them a chance. It puts them in a position where training camp, you know, they could, they have a successful training camp, they can be in a position to have a successful season. Are you still, I think Damon ran, Damon Webb ran some, some safety, is that still kind of like in the plan or is it just kind of like, I know it was exper experimental, excuse me, but are there any other guys that could potentially work back there that played corner or is it just kind of like your, like where is your room sit right now that spring is complete? I think it's always a fluid situation back there. You know, we try to cross-train guys as much as we can, so there, there is flexibility. Um, but I thought Damon did a very good job, so I think he's got a chance to be really good at that position. Uh, he's new to it, but uh, he showed a lot of promise. Greg, what did you like from the spring game? I'm sure you've been asked this eight times. Uh, what, what did you like about the spring game with Malik? Uh, the way that he made big plays, uh, I think it was 10 tackles in the game, active. What did you see, not only in that game, but maybe in the whole spring, that would explain the kind of success he had that day? Well, he, he loves football, so he's a football guy. He studies it. He enjoys being in the meeting room. He enjoys doing the walkthrough stuff. That's, you know, when guys love it, it makes it a lot easier. Um, but what I felt Saturday was a guy who was very comfortable in front of the crowd, game speed, those type of things. He looked very natural out there. Um, in no way, shape, or form was any of it too big for him. You know, you don't know that. You know, even though we're in here and there's some people standing around, it's not the same. So, just like Saturday's not the same as the regular season, it's certainly a lot closer. And I thought he looked very comfortable in that setting. Your group as a whole is interesting. You know, you've got two new guys going in, two guys are going into the draft next week out of that room. Do you feel that there is a, a new leadership core developing in your room? Uh, I know it's very quick, it's just one spring, but do you feel like there is a, there's a real difference you can feel when you walk in there? Well, there needs to be. Yeah. You know, certainly, you mentioned it, we lost two guys that have played a lot of football around here. So uh, if we don't have that, we're going to be in big trouble. Has it really clearly defined itself yet? Not totally. I think, but it's going to be, you know, I think the whole group, and then as guys make plays, and continue to do the right thing, then they establish themselves as leaders. It's hard to be a leader when you haven't really played a ton, because part of leadership, in my opinion, is the production that you produce, you know, things you produce on the field. Greg, uh, 